We'll continue to explore the world of the rich and wealthy. Welcome to Luxury Fountain. Today, we will take a look into the amazing life of trillionaire, Prince of Saudi Arabia, Salman, and how he spends his money. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, turn on that notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Without further ado, let's begin. Muhammad bin Salman, also the mandated leader of the nation, stands at the helm of Aramco, the world's largest oil and gas firm. It is the third largest publicly traded firm, trailing behind Apple and Microsoft, and is a subsidiary of Alphabet, Berkshire Hathaway, Amazon, and Tesla. These topics are less important to Mars, but the truth is that MBS's power over what he may spend millions of dollars on from his own money and the fortune of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Aside from Aramco, MBS also oversees Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund, the private investment fund which has $500 billion in assets. At some point, you begin to ask what you could possibly purchase as a present for a person who is clearly filthy rich. Some of the crazy stuff on this list will make you envious. The most valuable picture in our history, the Salvatore Mundi, is number one on our list. This amazing masterpiece was created by the renowned Italian Renaissance genius Leonardo da Vinci between the 15th and 16th centuries. In 2017, the Salvatore Mundi went on tour, including stops in Hong Kong, San Francisco, and New York. At its display in New York by Christie's, it was acquired for 450 million 300,000 by Saudi Arabia's Minister of Culture, Prince Bater bin Abdullah. The assumption was that it was for exhibition in the Abu Dhabi Louvre, but according to sources, Prince Bater bin Abdullah was saving it for MBS, who is now in possession of the masterpiece. Da Vinci's work Salvatore Mundi, which means Savior of the World, depicts a picture of Jesus Christ clutching a non-refracting crystal ball in his left hand. This painting can now be seen aboard Salman's gigantic yacht. You might say MBS enjoys adding an additional layer of flair to everything he does. It may be a $500 million painting of one of history's most famous figures on his wall, or it could be more coding on his already exorbitant fleet of luxury cars, such as his gold-plated Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. The Grand Sport costs a stunning $12.5 million and has been regarded as one of the world's fastest street legal cars. With a top speed of 431 km per hour and a 0 to 100 km per hour increasing speed of 2.5 seconds. Its acceleration narrowly edges out the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ's 0 to 100 kph time of 2.8 seconds. And his spending on luxury automobiles jumps from 0 to 1000 in the matter of seconds, since he spent about $8 million for this Lamborghini which he of course coated in gold. In reality, he also possesses a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, a Bentley Continental Flying Spur, a Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe, a Range Rover, and a Mercedes G63 6x6 truck for a grand total of $36 million, all of which are covered in gold and have gold-like embroidery on the seats. At this point, perhaps his automobiles run on gold rather than gasoline. If it doesn't pick your interest in being wealthy, perhaps this gorgeous French chateau, known as Chateau Louis XIV, would. When Prince Salman bought this estate for $300 million in 2015, it set a global record for residential real estate acquisition. But MBS was unstoppable. Imad Khashoggi, a Saudi-born French property developer, was hired to repair and refurbish the home. Khashoggi rebuilt this 57-acre estate by combining high-tech controls and systems with 17th-century artisan skills. Almost 131,000 individuals labored on this home for over the period of three years. That's 120 individuals every day on average. They included stonemasons who built the house in the style of Louis XIV, marble workers who molded an immaculate statue of Louis XIV and molded for the Grand CX style fireplaces, gardeners who designed vast areas of green spaces and French-style orchards with embroidered box edges and tree-lined labyrinths and painters and decorators who painted the ceilings of several reception halls, master suites, and the main drawing rooms, cupola. Chandeliers that hang beautifully on the chateau are considered its highlights. But the exotic artworks and gorgeous gardens are the attractions of this luxury mansion, and the Salvatore Mundi artwork is nearly twice the price of this vast estate. 
a half billion dollar picture that sits on the deck of Muhammad bin Salman's serene super yacht at a length of 439 feet and a beam of 60 feet. The serene yacht is one of the top 10 biggest yachts in the world. On the outer top deck, Peaceful boasts a jacuzzi with automated lighting, lounge spaces, sitting rooms and bars, many bedrooms and a master's bedroom, a helipad and a garage to keep its various jet skis and boats for when MBS wishes to go completely off the rails. Naturally, this marine behemoth is valued at $500 million. It was built for Russian vodka mogul Yuri Scheffler for $330 million and in 2014, the one and only Bill Gates rented the yacht for $5 million each week. Yet Prince Salman, while on vacation in 2015 in the south of France, opted to spend $550 million on a watercraft. The tranquil yacht passed down from one ultra-rich guy to another is an example of outstanding sportsmanship among the elite. Discussing of sportsmanship, Prince Salman's most recent acquisition is the iconic English soccer team Newcastle United Football Club, also known as the Magpies. MBS was able to acquire the English foot club for £300 million thanks to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund, known as the Public Investment Fund or PIF. The transaction took nearly two years to complete but Newcastle has become the most wealthy club on earth thanks to its owners. The PIF has assets worth about $500 billion, and its owner has multiple stakes in the household companies such as Disney, Uber, Facebook, Starbucks, and of course, everyone's favorite pharmaceutical business, Pfizer. Many perceive Mohammed bin Salman's acquisition of PIF as a chance for a sovereign wealth fund to diversify away from only oil. Moreover, as previously said, PIF already invests in some very major firms, bringing its holdings to a total of half a trillion dollars. Soccer is an industry that cannot be overlooked, especially as additional billionaires join the fray. This is a fantastic opportunity for the Magpies to get to that level. Moving on, with 10,000 rooms, Hotel Abraj Kudai holds the Guinness World Record for the world's largest hotel. It is another Ministry of Finance project that will total to about $3.5 billion to finish. It ranks among the most magnificent and ambitious mega-projects now underway in the world. It's additionally part of MBS's strategy to diversify the economy of his country. With its position in Mecca, this hotel is ideal for capitalizing on an already lucrative venture pilgrimage. Abraj Gadai will span 1.4 million square meters of space over 12 massive buildings with a total of 10,000 rooms. It has four helipads enough storage space for about 3,000 automobiles, 70 eateries, and more. A night in the opulent accommodations will cost you $5,000 and have access to amenities such as the fitness and wellness centers, spas, massages, luxury vehicle rentals, refreshing and thermal water baths, scrubs, saunas, pools, and more. Dar El Hadassa architects and the Irene Hospitality firm in London were also commissioned to create something exceptional for the royals. In that instance, the first five levels of the Hotel Abraj Kudai are reserved and tailored to the likings of MBS and the royal family anytime they desire to come. With this fortune at its disposal, MBS could create a metropolis from the ground up. Think that nothing can top this? Well, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz is currently constructing a city from the ground up. It's called Nome and it's the most audacious idea you've ever seen. First and foremost, Nom is a sophisticated metropolis in the works with a name derived from two words. The Greek term Neo, which means new, with Arabic term for future. When MBS unveiled this initiative in October of 2017, the promise was to build the world's first self-sustaining, sophisticated, smart, and net-zero carbon pollution metropolis. It is a $500 billion budget for completion. It will be approximately three times the amount of space of New York City and has been planned such that everything you require is now within walking or riding distance of any place in the metropolis. Since there will be no cars or even conventional roads in Nome, long-range transportation will be accomplished through the use of shattered autonomous electric shuttles high-speed tunnel transit systems, and urban air mobility. Not to mention the port city, which will be the first completely automated seaport, and the journey at Nome Port will be perfectly smooth from the curb to the gate. The train as well as the Oxygen are currently undergoing development in the giant city. Therefore, it's not a question of if, but of when. MBS has 553 million square miles of oil-rich land. He is technically the world's second largest landowner, after only the Pope and the Crown of England. 
because it doesn't happen frequently that you find yourself in the company of two of the most powerful individuals on God's green planet. What do you think? Were you able to ponder of what can one purchase as a present for an individual with a net worth exceeding $2 trillion? Post your thoughts and comments in the section below, we'd love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to Luxury Fountain if you liked the video. We're hoping to see you in our future video.